what's going on guys? So I'm here on Manitoulin Island, here for work. I'm out flying the drone over the lake, looking down at the water. It's crystal clear, it's beautiful, the craziest thing. And I come across this sunken boat. Have a look. <laughs> So there's a sunken boat out there, and I'm like, what could this be? Is there treasure? That's what I want to know. It's May, the water is very cold. We have no choice. We have got to go and check it out. We're doing it. We're going to go check out this freaking boat. I'm so excited. At some point during my time here, I'm going to take you, and we're going out there, and we're going to have a look and see what this treasure is, what is going on with the sunken boat. I'm super pumped. As I'm making plans and trying to decide what my approach is going to be for going out there, I'm thinking, what is the story behind this sunken boat? Is it a couple fishermen who were out there trying to catch some fish, and got caught in a bad storm, and the, the boat went under? I don't know. Is it a couple that was out for a romantic row and unfortunately got tipped over and they both drowned? I don't know. It's hard to say. Is this a situation where someone was murdered and the evidence was being hidden? The boat was sunk to hide the evidence. Maybe. Will we find remains of a person? I don't know. Will we find sunken treasure? I love gold! I think yes. Will we find a murder weapon? I suspect foul play. Possibly. I don't know. Lots of questions. We have a lot to figure out. We're going exploring, let's do it, let's go. So let's talk logistics here, okay? It's gonna be cold, so I need a wetsuit. I've got my um, trusty wetsuit on. It's nice and thick. It's actually for surfing in cold water, so we are golden. In terms of other equipment, let me walk you through it. So I've got this trusty weight belt. I don't actually know how deep it is, where this thing is. The wetsuit is very buoyant, so it actually might be difficult for me to get down to it if it's very far down. A weight belt will help with that. It will help offload some of the buoyancy of the wetsuit. So it'll let me be able to dive down a little bit deeper if I have to. And of course, we're gonna wanna take a closer look. Of course, I've got the stand-up paddleboard. The stand-up paddleboard is gonna be helpful because I can put some stuff on it and bring it out there um, so that I just have a little bit more equipment with me. So I've got some trusty cam here. I've got a GoPro. I've got the um, DJI Mavic Mini 3 Pro um, and then I've got Insta360. I meant to stop in at some point and pick up an anchor. I don't have one so I had to make one. You can see it right here. Not too bad if I don't say so myself. It's basically a rope and a rock but it'll get the job done. So that's the equipment. Pretty simple. We're just gonna swim out there. It's about 180 to 200 meters out there. It's literally straight out. So from these rocks here, it's straight out 200 meters and we'll be able to find it. Okay. So I'm not sure if you can spot the drone there. I'm gonna fly it up and down so you can see. See that? That's right over top where we need to be. That spot there. The benefit of getting in the water when it's crystal clear like this is that we'll have really good visibility, so we should see it as we approach it. Very cool. So for this mission, I actually went out there three times. The first time was just me, wetsuit, paddleboard. Brought my mask and snorkel and everything, and my plan was gonna be paddle out, look down, try to track it down, try to spot it. Once I spot it, then throw on my mask and snorkel, hop in the water, go and explore.
here paddling, of course it's like a needle in a haystack. Without the top down view, I can't really easily see it. I'm assuming it's here somewhere. I think I'm, hmm. bummer. So unfortunately, no luck out there this time. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack, to be honest. It's so easy with the drone, right? Because it's this top-down aerial view and you can see everything really clearly. It's way different from, you know, 15 meters up rather than like one and a half meters up. So that's okay. I'm gonna try again another day. I might bring the drone out there with me so I can really spot it and um, get my position a little bit more precise. Yeah, so we'll see. Next time, round two, coming. The second time, I used the drone and the paddleboard and I went out. Another unsuccessful mission. What happened was, I was swimming out, everything was fine, I had the drone following me. When I got out to approximately where I thought maybe the ship would be, I checked the remote controller from the drone. I was pretty close, but not quite there. It may not look like it, but there's quite a bit of current and drift out there that's happening. I think it's largely related to the wind. I was out there kind of scrambling around, trying to find it. The drone battery was dying, so I had to fly it back to shore, land it. So unfortunately, that was an unsuccessful mission. I did not find the sunken ship on that go. The water was so cold. Um, I'm taking a break right now just to try to regroup, have a banana, have a cup of coffee, and just try to formulate a new plan. I'm not giving up, I'm gonna keep at it. I'm just cold, and uh, yeah, I thought for sure I'd be able to find it that way, but unfortunately, not so much. When I turned around and I was starting to head back to shore, I realized that I was actually sighting and landmarking off of a neighbor's shed instead of our shed, the shed that I'm, for the place I'm staying at, down here. And so a lot of these things look the same. I think that might've been it. I might've been over by, I don't know, 10 meters or something like that. Unfortunately, the visibility is not that great. So I just lost it. It took three missions, a drone and a paddleboard, mass and snorkel and all these things to try to actually make sure that I could find it. But I did find it, which is awesome. Okay, so it's time for attempt number three. This one is gonna be successful, I'm 100% sure. There's no reason why we can't find this thing. It's just straight out there. It's just a matter of visualizing it. Um, if the water was warm, I could just spend all day literally floating around looking for it. But the problem is, of course, it's freaking freezing. I'm gonna go back out. I mean, God, it's right there. We need to find it. It's one of these things, you know, I'm not really sure what we're gonna find. Um, some like gold coins, um, possible murder weapon, um, an old Viking sword. You never know. You never know what you're gonna find. So um, everything's all set up here. I'm ready to rumble, so we're gonna head out there and do it now. A uh, little nervous. Maybe the water's cold, but we'll adjust. We'll get used to it. We'll have fun, and we're gonna find treasure. It's gonna be awesome. So let's do it. Let's hit it up. So we're heading out now. Let's go see what we can find. Let's do it. Shores way back there. Still on the lookout here. 
I think we're getting close. So that's a wrap on that. Thanks so much for joining. Over the course of three missions, we were able to track down a sunken ship, an anchor with a chain attached to it, and some fishing net. Hard to know what exactly happened, but probably we can surmise that some fishermen were out, maybe they hit some inclement weather, went overboard, 
the boat sunk. Hard to say exactly, but that's probably what happened. Didn't find any treasure. I can't rule out that there wasn't some kind of murder plot. I just maybe didn't find a murder weapon. I don't think anyways, so yeah. More mystery for next time, I think. Either way, thanks so much for joining. That was a ton of fun, and uh, looking forward to next week.